So. We are back on the morning brew with Ken and Eric from Sax Therapy. I love this, and you guys, this is how much fun is this? This is great. Thank you guys for coming in this morning. Oh, you're very welcome. We're glad to be here. How did you guys start the quartet? Um, well, it was really Chad and I, the Barry player and I, mm -hmm. uh, about four years ago, we decided that we uh, wanted you, to get a quartet there, together. There is a lack of saxophone quartets in Albuquerque, we need to start one? I think we are it, okay. as far as I know. I mean, there might be some other uh, rogue quartets <laughs> drifting through occasionally, if you can have one, but we're pretty much it. And, um, you know, all of us, we're all educators, we're all degreed saxophone players, and we all grew up playing quartet literature. And then sometime. is that like a classic thing for saxophones that I'm just not aware of that like there's the the, the saxophone quartet is like a thing. It's a real thing. It's like, an academic thing. Like the barbershop thing. quartet is a saxophone quartet. Absolutely, it's a legitimate ensemble. Very but cool. I don't think most people in general public uh, get that it's a real thing. I mean, mm -hmm. I think people hear bands and they hear saxophones as a, a solo instrument in a blues mm -hmm. band or a rock band. I or think a of Junior Walker band. all the time. Uh, so do I, as right. a matter of fact, and. But the saxophone in and of itself is a great instrument, and there's tons of literature available for the saxophone, jazz, classical, and we wanted to go back to those like academic saxophone roots. And about four years ago, Chad and I formed the group, and here we are today. And this is like the cutest little saxophone. What, what do you call this one? This is a soprano saxophone. It's a, soprano. It's a B flat soprano saxophone. It's a real thing. Uh -huh. um, most people see it yeah, and go, wow, that's really cute. What yeah, is toy that like a kid kitty. sax? Like <laughs> it's actually this one, uh, speaking as, as long as we're on an antiques run, mm -hmm. this is from about 1928. Oh, very cool. It's an old horn. It plays really, really quite well. And most people see soprano saxophones as a straight instrument. Mm -hmm. and, and I think they that Kenny G comes to mind. As, I was going to ask about player. Kenny G. Do you guys, like, as saxophone guys, do you guys think he's, like, is he one of the greats or is he just one of the greats of modern pop rock? I, I think <laughs> I, the, the jury's out there on them. Yeah, uh, these, all these guys are like, they're, the jury's oh, out. Yeah. Kenny G, right, guys? Well, yeah. I, personally, I personally think he's a great player, and I don't necessarily like all the choice of, of music that he does, and maybe right. not the style, but um, I can't fault his ability. The guy's right. a great player. Right, right. And Eric, how'd you get involved in all of this? Well, uh, sax therapy is actually really involved in uh, education outreach. These guys are all teachers, and I'm the founder of a company called Eric's Tone Kings, and uh, our focus is to put music into schools th that don't have it, uh, finding ways to get instruments to kids that don't m maybe have access to one, maybe can't afford one, and these guys are playing a crucial role in that. Uh, in fact, I think all of these guys will be teaching classes at some point this year for Eric's Tone Kings, so That's it's very kind cool. of a cool thing. Very yeah. cool. So how do you guys get the money to get instruments into students' hands? Well, they're privately funded programs. Typically it's the parents, but there's a lot of scholarship involved. We're working on community outreach uh, via Facebook and social networking, trying to get a hold of instruments, donations. I've been buying a bunch of instruments just out of my own pocket to, to let kids kind of use them and try out music for free. Cool. Uh, and and uh, it's it's working. It's kind of got a, got a little bit of momentum here now. So I love it. Are you, do you play anything yourself? Yeah, I'm a trumpet player. Yeah. Trumpet player. Trumpet oh, very player, cool. Yeah, yeah. So is there like a rivalry between trumpet players and saxophonists? There's no rivalry. There's no? <laughs> there's a need to be. There's no contest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever plays the loudest wins, I think. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, I've, I've been looking at what you guys. You guys have a ton of different kinds of saxophones. You said this is a soprano. Right. And then there's like this giant one, the baritone. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, how many different varieties of saxophones are there? Um, and is it cool to call it a saxophone? Yes. We kind of we, we do all the time. <laughs> okay. Our, our tenor player Matt Harris is playing a, a tenor saxophone, mm -hmm. and Chad on the baritone sax, and John Roback is playing an alto sax. And there are, believe it or not, there are smaller saxes than this, mm. a sopranino, and there are bigger saxes than that, basses and contrabasses. And so there's a, an entire family, about six, seven, maybe eight horns deep. Oh, wow. Very cool. And so the, generally the songs for this, I, you guys are playing some jazz and some other stuff. What do you guys like to play? The you, saxophone. Well, <laughs> in terms of, it just any, it doesn't matter what kind of, what kind of music it is. That's the best answer I can come up with. We all love playing the saxophone, and we love to play classical. We love to play jazz. So that's one of the benefits of having an ensemble like this, is we mm -hmm. get to do a little bit of that, and we get to step outside of that zone of, 
I'm the eight bar, sixteen bar solo in the rock band, mm -hmm. and uh, you know we all love it. And I think our our mission beyond education mm -hmm. with the Tone Kings and the other schools that we work in is to share our love and just spread our love of the saxophone with that's, a greater community. That's very and awareness cool. of this thing as more than just a showpiece, an eight bar showpiece. I love it. Well, you guys have a song you wanted to play, a yeah. full song, because we've been hearing little 30 second clips. If you want to head on over, we'll I'd get you to. into the quartet. And Eric, wh you know, what's the next steps with you guys and how are, how are you trying to fund the next level of uh, uh, instruments for students. Well, yeah, we actually have an. We're actually beginning an after-school and evening program. This is for students that might be in charter schools or homeschool kids. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the, I'm working on partnering up with some instrument companies right now, and uh, hoping that they can uh, maybe uh, either donate or partner up with us so that these kids can get instruments uh, to try out uh, mm -hmm. at a reduced cost or no cost at all. And uh, so, you know, we're looking for donations. Uh, they can log onto our website. The kids can log onto the website and uh, see actual videos of how to play their instruments, how to assemble these instruments, or learn about the instruments in general. So, And that's anything, not just saxophones? Any instrument, any instrument at all, but we, we sure do love saxophones. I love it, I love it. And you guys, if you want to take it away, what are you going to be playing real quick, though? Uh, we're going to be playing a tune for you called the Latin Smile. Hey, lovely. All right, you guys ready to rip it? Mm -hmm.